guys, this is Michelle Nicolaisen with Bombshell.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use TeamWeek um, and do a review of it. So TeamWeek is something that I didn't know about until last week. I think it's really, really cool, especially if nothing else. Like, it's good for creative types because it's so visual and you can do all this color coding. But as soon as I saw it, my immediate thought was, I wonder if this can be tweaked to be used for, like, really small teams or, you know, solo printers, teams of one person, and freelancers instead of just teams of multiple people. So you can see I've added some people here, um, including Harry Potter, for when I show you how to use it with a team, and I'll do that. I'll do like a quick um, one or two minute review at the end of this video showing you how to use it for a team as it's intended. But first, I wanted to go over a couple ways that it could be used for solo printers. So the, way, the first way that I wanted to show you that I've set it up is that I've got it set up so that you can see um, sort of a bird's eye view of what's going on. So like your your projects for the next couple of months so that when you get, you know, a new client proposal or when you're thinking about taking on a new project or you're getting that kind of itch where you want to start a new project, you could come back in here and you could look at this and be like, okay, well, I've already got, you know, I have like a one week period here where three of my projects over are lapping. So if I'm going to do that, I should start it like this week or later in April. So how it works is that you can start a new project by just clicking or start a new task. This is, these are technically tasks. These are not actually projects. So you got color coding options, which as we all know is something that I absolutely adore. Um, I don't have a project for this, so I'm going to create a new project. You can also add a new client if you want. And then what's down here is that there's to-dos, there's places for task lists. So the way I've been using it with these projects, and I'll show you on one of the other projects, is that I set it up so that there's kind of like the milestones. So So you can see I've set up some uh, milestones there. So and then you just click save and it shows up and you can drag it out and if, uh, this probably won't happen in April, but if it was going to happen it would be a multi-week project. So that's, uh, that's how that would, you, you can drag it out and you can drag it out further. I have this set to an eight week view which you can change right here. So you can see on some of my other ones, you've got, I have like these milestones here. This is a client launch, so I don't have any milestones listed on that. It's just in there. And you could also use this to view things like um, when you're going, like when there's going to be somebody traveling. So for example, I'm going to color code this as, I don't know, green for travel. My little sister is going to be visiting the last week in March. So, so I've got that there and I can see that the last week in March is going to be pretty crazy and given that I might want to move reconsidering the service packages to this week instead of to someplace else so that I'm not trying to do too much in one week. Um, so that's how you can use it to get sort of a bird's eye view of what's going on and I think that this would be really useful for people who are really visual types and might you know need that bigger view and tend to take on too many projects at once so that you can look at it and be like oh well I've already got four projects going this week in March I should probably not start any more projects till the you know second week in April so that's how to use it to get a bird's eye view I'm going to show you next how to use it to get like a slightly more uh, granular view as a solo printer Okay, and here's an example of what it could look like if you were using it a little more zoomed in. So you can see up here I changed it to one week. So this is this week. Um, and it's showing today. And what I've done here is a couple different things. Number one, I set a priority for this week. I just typed in priority number one, promotion for rest of March, right? And if you wanted to, you could do promotion. You could do, you know, like three bars for priority number one, priority number two, and priority number three, and then overlay your other tasks on top of that just to make sure that you're keeping your eye on what your actual priorities are instead of getting caught up in like endless, you know, tiny detail tasks that aren't actually moving you forward on your goals in your business because that's one of the things that I see solopreneurs struggle with a lot. 
Um, another thing that I didn't highlight earlier that I just wanted to show real quick is that it does do drag and drop. And so I can drag that because I realized I had that starting on Tuesday, not Monday. And then extend it so that it comes out to the rest of the week. I'm just going to leave that there even though it's got me working on Saturday. So what I did here is I set up a couple of different projects. So like I've got weekly planning for biz dev, right, business development. I've got review team week. And you can see under there I created an actual task list for it, right? And that's under the blogging and content strategy. So you can see that when you're creating actual tasks, it gives you a really nice overview of how long it should take um, and what project it's in, as well as what you're going to be doing. And then if you want to, you can get really granular and go down into the actual to-dos and the task list. And there's a spot for uh, time estimates and everything too. And it's all drag and drop, so you can drag it to, you know, whatever day you want. And there's also a milestone functionality that I didn't highlight earlier um, because I was doing the bird's eye type view. So if you're going to do a milestone, you can do right and you've got you can see that there's a milestone there and then you can see what it is. And that's probably like I'm assuming that the way that's intended to be used is for you to for you to mark out milestones in specific projects so you can make sure that the project is actually on track for where it's supposed to be at this point but that's, you know, uh, that's an example of how else you can use it. So the other thing that I didn't highlight earlier is that when, if you decide something is too much, so for example, if this had been moved right here and I decided that there wasn't, I wasn't going to have enough time today to write a guest post, you can drag this into the backlog and then when you're planning the next week, which you can do just by clicking right here and going to the next week, you can drag that up onto like next Tuesday, if Tuesday is your content creation day. You can also trash a task by dragging it over to the trash can, which I'm not going to do with that. Um, so next, I'll give you a quick overview of how to use it as it's actually intended with a team, which you've probably gathered by now, but it'll just be a quick one. And that'll be the wrap of this review. Okay, and this is just a quick, really simple example um, launch layout. And solopreneurs really could use this even if they didn't have a dedicated team for the launch just to keep track of where things are at because one of the things that people run into with launches is that they don't have an easy way of seeing where everyone's deadlines are at and what's going on. And if you're not using a launch manager or a project manager and you're trying to manage it all yourself, that can really quickly lead to a clusterfuck because you don't realize that, oh, well, if I move, if I move this back, um, you know, two weeks, it's going to overlap with like some other milestone or whatever. So I've set up some milestones. This is the marketing plan done, product development done, and cart opens. And so what I've got here is like, you know, the business, you, the business owner, I've got like work on product and I've got time estimates for all of these. And I have a role set up for admin assistant, copywriter, and graphic designer, right? So this is just like a really easy way to see how long things are going to take, how long the actual turnaround is going to take before you get like, you know, the final version of the sales page. And when you lay it out like this, like a, what a lot of people that I see do is they lay it out so that it looks a little bit more like this. And the problem with that is that when you're relying on other people for tasks to get done, you know, and the week gets added to the deadline, all of a sudden the writing and editing of the sales page is overlapping with the date that the cart is supposed to be opening, which is no bueno. No bueno, you guys. Bad stuff. So... And all of the other stuff that I said earlier still applies. If something gets, if you don't know where, you, when you want to assign something to, you can drag it into the backlog and then drag it back out here. If you want to extend it, you can extend it. It's drag and drop. You can trash a task by moving it here. You can put in time estimates, but you don't have to. Uh, and I mean, really, that's it. It's pretty intuitive. It's pretty simple. I really like Team Week in case, in case that's not clear already. And I think that it has a lot of uses, not just for teams, but for creative solopreneurs who really need like a visual, colorful way to look at things and who really have trouble seeing where the tasks overlap. So that was my review. I hope it was helpful. If you want more reviews, come to www.bombshell.com, B-O-M-B-C-H-E-L-L-E, or check out the other videos on this channel. Thanks and have a great day.